Hello, everybody. This is Alexander Robinson, the real Mr. Robinson, and this is going to be a completely unedited version of my thoughts on this whole YouTube censorship thing, or basically these new set of rules that YouTube had just put up. So normally I don't like to talk about political issues involving YouTube, their business decisions and whatnot. Um, I mean, I, I will, if I have anything to say, I will put it up on other social media like Facebook or Twitter. However, this like new bit of information really does concern me. So this is one instance where I just can't go without saying something on YouTube. So again, this is going to be a completely unedited um, uh, video or audio bit. So just bear with me. So I get off work today to find out that YouTube has set a bunch of new rules and I'm seeing from a lot of uh, content creators and famous people on YouTube such as uh, Philip DeFranco, Rich Alvarez, that their videos have been denied monetization because they have inappropriate material in them. Uh, and they're, and I looked at the rules uh, and it, from what I gathered, it is a total and complete violation of the First Amendment. So, I mean, I'm a little, it's a little difficult for me to talk about this because I'm somebody who is not that popular on YouTube. I mean, if you go to my channel, I have, um, like a little over a quarter of, no, no, let me start over. If you look at my channel, the number of subscribers I have is closing to 1,900, uh, and I've had, like, over 1,000 subscribers since, uh, I started this channel in 2013, and it's slowly been building up, and a lot of my videos don't get that many views, so I'm in a weird position to talk about this because I'm not that, um, popular on YouTube, but on behalf of like other content creators, uh, these new rules uh, I find to be downright insulting. Uh, first of all, let's take a little uh, history lesson on what exactly the First Amendment is. Uh, according to Wikipedia, and I'm reading this uh, word for word, the First Amendment to the United States Constitution uh, prohibits the making of any law respecting an established of religion, impeding the free exercise of religion, uh, abridging the freedom of speech, uh, infringing on the freedom of the press, uh, interfering with the right to peacefully assemble, or prohibiting the petitioning of uh, governmental redress of grievances. Uh, and it was adopted on December 15th, 1791, uh, as one of the Ten Amendments that constitutes the Bill of Rights. Uh, now, let's take a look at what these new YouTube rules uh, allow for in what they're calling, um, like, not advertiser-friendly uh, rules. Uh. So, content that is considered not advertiser-friendly includes, but is not limited to, uh, repeat, not limited to, uh, one, uh, sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor. Okay, well, first of all, like... There are no boobs on YouTube at all. Like, YouTube is not a place for porn. And that I can respect. But making sexual jokes, uh, just sex jokes here and there, is considered insulting. This just doesn't really sit well. Because I know that um, for the longest time, um, Greg Alba and The Real Rejects uh, kept... Like, one of his big bits uh, when he had the character of Ryan Wright around was that he'd make a lot of sex jokes. Uh, sometimes to the point where um, you cringe. Like, I remember in my when I did a spoiler review of Terminator Genesis with him, uh, it basically ended with, like, a giant sex joke on, like, how do, like, people in the future during the war have sex. Uh, we'll get to that word war a little later. And, um, I mean, it's all in good humor. So, the fact that they're blocking... Any, so the fact that they consider uh, sex jokes not advertiser-friendly is just like, come on. Next up, number two, 
violence, including a display of serious injury and events relating to violent extremism. So does this apply for Let's Plays? Like, say I'm doing another free roam or a full Let's Play of Grand Theft Auto V or Red Dead Redemption. Does that consider... Uh, is that considered to be not advertiser friendly for YouTube? Because I know... I mean, I'll move on. Uh, number three, inappropriate language, including harassment, profanity, and vulgar language, which is the same thing as inappropriate language. I don't know why I had to repeat that, but this is practically 80, if not 90% of YouTube. Every YouTube video that you could come across has vulgar language. Hell, my YouTube channel has vulgar language at points. Some reviews, I'll drop the F-bomb. I'll uh, say a bunch of other things that are inappropriate. Not like just down, not downright offensive things, but just like I'll curse every now and then, and uh, sometimes really occasionally. Uh, not in every video, but yeah. Uh, next up, promotion of drugs and regulated substances, including selling, use, and abuse of some items. Uh, so, I mean, that's something I will give YouTube. To be honest, I mean, if I. In a couple of videos that I made, uh, when I review a really bad movie, uh, um, sometimes I'll, like, make the joke that, uh, like, don't waste your money on this movie unless, of course, you, uh, get high, uh, have, or just have a bag of weed with you and a lot of alcohol, and you probably will enjoy it, uh. But it's all, like, as a joke. I never promote the use of drugs, uh, especially something like meth or heroin. Like, that stuff I just can't uh, promote. Like, I, I stay away from that. But something like weed, it's like, yeah, if you, if you watch this movie high, you'll enjoy it. But, like, I don't particularly mean it to be serious. It's more of a joke. Huh? So... <sighs> No, you know what? This this rule's stupid. And then the last one, which is the one that really gets under my skin: controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown. So this means for other channels, including uh, Young Turks, uh, that really do a lot of political um, commentary. Uh, mainly for uh, liberal purposes, um, that means that they're getting hit by this rule in terms of, like, videos that can't be monetized. In fact, I even think they are getting hit by it. Uh, and it's just, it's downright stupid. And what this all boils down to is that every one of these rules violates the First Amendment. Uh, and... It's bullcrap. Huh? Like, we should have the freedom to, like, use sexual humor in a video. We should have the freedom to curse up a storm. We should have the freedom to talk about politics. Huh? Talk about how we feel about tragedies and natural disasters. It's in our freedom huh, to talk about these things. Huh? And I know what some people might be thinking. Well... These rules just mainly mean that your video is not going to get um, um, monetized. Like, you're not going to get any ad revenue from these videos. Huh? Which is not necessarily true because um, in a couple of blogs from Philip DeFranco, uh, who has over 4.5 million subscribers, uh, he said that there are instances where they've said that you could, your channel could have been taken down completely and your videos could be taken down completely because you violate some of these rules. And once again, like YouTube will just do this stuff out of nowhere. I've heard many stories where several YouTubers have had their channels banned or just re deleted altogether over nothing. Like, something that YouTube did not inform them of. They just did it. So, for all the talk that I've heard that YouTube is trying to get better of um, making it easier. Like, like for example, when you use copyrighted uh, 
uh, subjects or like use copyrighted images or items like for the sake of uh, co like commentary, uh, satire or um, educational purposes like I do with my reviews where I use images or movie trailers. Uh, like they said they would get better with that kind of stuff with false copyright claims. And this just proves they've gotten worse. Uh, YouTube, I mean, this is like really tough for me to say because I want to stop doing these YouTube videos. I want to stop doing videos on YouTube just out of protest, but I can't do it because I really love what I'm doing. Uh, um, as far as I'm concerned, none of my videos have actually gotten hit by any of these things. And I think, again, that might have to do with the fact that I'm not... Um, as popular on YouTube as many other people that kind of do what I'm doing in the YouTube world, which are movie reviews and Let's Plays. So, on like basically on the ha behalf of everyone, like who's getting hit by these uh, claims, I, I it's insulting. Uh, it is downright insulting, uh, and. It's it's scary, uh, like it's scary that how much freedom YouTube has to screw over content creators. Huh? So, I just I don't know what to say. This is just really something I had to voice my opinion on. Huh? And this is one video that I, I I don't know what to say. So I do apologize if I'm rambling. Huh? throughout this whole video, but I want it to be authentic. I didn't want to make a lot of cuts to the point where it might sound a little fake. I had to be real with you. I had to, like, just leave it up uncensored, uh, uncut, uh, so I could get my full point across. It might sound like rambling, but I, I just had to get it out there. This was one instance where something happened on YouTube, and... I couldn't let it slide. I could not go without making some sort of video on this. So, I mean, I'm hoping, I hope, I hope YouTube can uh, get their act together and fix this whole thing because it is scary that YouTube is violating the First Amendment uh, and I just don't know what else to say. So, I'm going to end it right here. Those are my thoughts on the whole YouTube thing. Once again, I hope that this gets resolved. I hope that things get better. I hope YouTube listens to what we have to say. Because as much as like they're hurting the content creators, they are also hurting themselves. Because all those rules apply for more than 80% of what YouTube has to offer. So that's all I have to say. Um, leave a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on this whole YouTube censors censorship thing. And um, I I'd love to hear your thoughts on the whole matter. So until next time, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one.